to understand what actually timing an engine means and how a properly timed engine look like and what may happen to your engine if you don't adjust the timing properly, we will use this simulation. If we take a close look, we notice that the piston and valves uses the same space inside the cylinder, but they dance in such a perfect synchronization that they never be able to touch each other. And the intake valve only open during intake stroke for very precise amount of time and remains close during the rest of the cycle. Same is true for exhaust valve. This line represents the extreme travel position of valves. When the piston travels up, it crosses the line that represents the extreme position of the valves. However, the valve already clear this space for the piston. The same phenomenon can be noticed during the exhaust stroke. The manufacturer marked the position by some sort of marker placed on cam and crank pulley. When these markers are adjusted as described by the manufacturer, the piston and valves works in perfect synchronization, and the intake valve only open during intake stroke for very precise amount of time and remains close during the rest of the cycle. Same is true for exhaust valve. In this example, the arrow embossed on cam and crank pulley should points towards each other. This leads to the perfect timing of the engine and therefore, piston and valves works in perfect harmony. Now, let's examine the situation in which the markers on the pulleys are not aligned as prescribed by the manufacturer. When we run the simulation we find that the piston strikes the valve. Let's take a close look. You can clearly see that the piston and valve slams into each other. This is very dangerous situation and may lead to the damage of piston, valves and connecting rod. The valve guide crank journal and cylinder sleeve may also be damaged. It is therefore highly recommended to strictly follow the manufacturer instruction when timing the engine to prevent it from these major catastrophic failures which results in extreme costly repairs.